And um, all of me, this celebration as far as the seniors and um, being our graduating youth and all week as far as just in worship and conversation with the Lord. And Holy Spirit said, you know, it, it, it's incredible as far as how our world is designed, isn't it? I mean, if you really truly take a step back, right? And you know, at any big age, boom, go to school. Right? Go to school. And you go to school, reluctantly, at least for me, right? And uh, you, you're basically there, right? And you're taught. And you're taught, and you go through, and you go through grade after grade. Hallelujah. Right? And at one point, am I the only one preaching now? At one point, you're like, when is this going to end? Right? And it's like, oh my goodness, Lord, help me. And then I, I said, well, Lord, I hear what you're saying, but what is the word that you want to give to not only our graduating class of 2020, but also for the entire family, amen? All of us, we need a word, Lord, amen? Say with me, I need a word, Lord. Hallelujah. And his word is, is that God said, don't allow this world to raise you. Allow me to raise you. Amen. Amen. And I pray in Jesus' name, right? I pray, hallelujah. I pray in Jesus' name that, that, that listen, that, that regardless of how old you are, you, you're never set in your way. All right? Not the deception of the enemy. You're not. Because last time I checked, you're not God. And so I pray in Jesus' name that as we worship today, that you'll break through. Say that with me. Break through. That you'll break through and say, you know what, Father, I want to come to you as that little child that was dropped off in kindergarten and I was just screaming my lungs out. I thought my mom just hung with me. What are you doing? Right? And, and, and I pray that we can just get back in our, in, in our hearts and in our spiritual hearts to just worship God with childlike faith. Amen? Congratulations once again to the class of 2020. Listen, guys, you're going to go, you, you're marked in history of this class that went through the toughest of seasons. And you persevered. And the glory of God is in you. And I want to say this once more. Don't look back to 2020 and think coronavirus. Look back at 2020 and think about the protection of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. The blood of God. Amen. Hallelujah. You see that today? Amen. Praise God. Do me a favor. Uh, everybody stand up. Y'all been sitting down way too long. Come on. Praise God. I know some of you guys are like, man, God's going to work. I just got comfortable. You hear the rain? Now, I'm just going to say for me, when I hear this, I hear blessing. I'm on the God of the Lord. Amen. God of the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, do you hear blessings of the Lord in your life? Amen. If some of you sitting here today are standing up right now going, I, I just hear rain. Change your attitude. Change your mind. You see, I've been preaching until I'm blue in the face or until I just throw over. I've been preached to you. But it's up to you to change your mind. And then you change your mind today. And then you change your mind today, Father. On this day, I receive everything that Lord Jesus paid for. Hallelujah. I receive the victory in Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I receive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not standing in the room because the best blessings left on the table. I'm going to take it. Hallelujah. I don't see no blessings on the table. Hallelujah. I know I'm talking to you, God's children. Amen. Amen. Say with me, I am one. I am one. In Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Say with me, I am one. I am one. Unified. Unified. In Holy Spirit. In Holy Spirit. Say with me, I am one. I am one. Eternal soul. Eternal soul. In God the Father. God the Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Holy God. Keep up, faith. You may be seated. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Now, before I get into why this title is the title and that it is, um, many times, many of you know, when you're kind of here in Open Arms Community Church, just pray for me, amen? All we, I'm like you, we just worship. Be happy. Praise, 
Yeah, I know Brother Charlie's smiling. He got a basketball. <laughs> yeah, see? And he got a basketball. You can tell how happy some of them were. They got half their face covered, but you can see this. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to read over some scripture. There's not going to be words added in the word because this is how the police are wanted. And it's just a little surprise that the police are wanted. Amen? Do this with me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father God, we don't approach your throne in what we know. On this glorious day, we choose to know nothing but that Lord Jesus Christ died for me. Hallelujah. And Lord Jesus Christ, you are perfect and worthy. And Holy Spirit, as we bless you, all we want to do is just sit in your presence, Father. Father God, rebuke Joey Cranley. He is just your son. It's your anointing, Lord Jesus Christ, through your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are our only teacher. This is your holy church, Father God. And we only go through one man, one perfect man, your perfect sacrifice, Father God, your only beloved perfect son. His name we say with your beloved church family, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And in God's precious name we pray. Everybody say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's get into this. Amen. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you? I'm expecting miracles today. Hallelujah. Are you expecting I'm expecting breakthrough today. Hallelujah. I'm expecting healing today. Okay, I'm expecting the presence of God to fill me like ever before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. That's all to our God. Amen. That's all to our God Almighty. Everything we do. Hallelujah. Everything we do. Praise God. Hallelujah. One of them, the disciple who Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Next. When Jesus saw his mother there, and the disciple who he loved, standing nearby, he said to her, Woman, here is your son. Oh, it gets gooder and gooder. So she came running to Simon Peter, and the other disciple. The one, say that with me. Jesus. Jesus. Love. Hallelujah. We don't need to go to the rest. Look, then the disciple who, say with me. Jesus. Love. Jesus loved, said to Peter, It is the Lord. As soon as Simon Peter heard him say, It is the Lord, he wrapped his outer garments around him, when he had taken it off and jumped into the water. Oh, it gets good and good. Look at this one. Peter turned and saw that the Disciple who was following them. Now look at this. Let's look at this in the Word of God. Here in parentheses, I didn't add this now. I just added the colors. I like colors. I love colors. I like purple. <laughs> this was the one who had leaned back against Jesus at the supper and had said, Lord, who is going to betray you? Don't you love it? Don't you love it? That here the word of God says, yeah, Peter was there, but also the disciple that Jesus loved. Amen. And if you don't remember, it was the one that was laying on his chest. Letting the readers know, just in case if you forgot, my God loves me. Amen. Say it with me, hey, Mr. DJ. Hey. In everything that I just shared with you right now, we're not even opening up yet. Holy Spirit just wants to share with you everything that we read right now. Comes from these books. There's only one book. Who wrote it? John. Amen. So this Mr. DJ is called Disciple John. Amen. Hey, Mr. DJ, this is Disciple John now. Amen. Now, like I said, we, Trish and I, and Pastor and Mary and Tish, and, you know, all the leaders have been praying for our graduate class of 2020. But also, above all, just being obedient. Say that word with the obedient. Obedient. obedient to the Holy Spirit wants as far as to minister and to teach us. Amen? And a big thing that came into my memory was back when I graduated in high school. A big thing was mixtapes. Yeah. <laughs> Preach! Come on, sister. All right? Amen? At least I got one sister in here, right? <laughs> and I know some of you heard the title of today when I said, hey, Mr. DJ, you're like, it's the party star. Right? So some of you, right, because sometimes when you hear just a little thing, 
It takes you back right to that moment. And unfortunately, sometimes you can hear something wrong and it takes you back to a wrong moment in your life, right? When the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, through his holy blood, is going to break and stay up and break you free from anything that is trying to torment you that comes from the evil one. Amen? Amen? Come on, come on, I'll say amen like you do.
Now see, right here, Holy Spirit is saying, if you limit life-changing revelation just based on what you read and not spend time in worship, in intimacy with God, thanking Him for Lord Jesus, and allowing His Holy Spirit to minister, listen, this goes beyond listening to a preacher. This goes beyond pulling up YouTube and turning on YouTube. You, same with me. Hey. You have to get personal and intimate with God. Hey. You know, there's a lot of deception right now in this world, and I'm telling you right now, we're going to get wrapped right out of here. I'm praying in Jesus' name that God is just watching the roadway and here in the next half an hour for the trumpet's going to go off around right here. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Right now, Holy Spirit wants you to think about the greatest day that you've ever had in your entire life. The greatest day. Now, I know some of you, and praise God for that, some of you are like, well, when I call on Jesus. Hallelujah, that is. That is. That is the greatest day. Many of you are saying that right now. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit just told me, many of you. But God says, I want you to think of, okay, a, a, a really joyful day. Right? Or, or, or maybe something that you're looking forward to. Maybe somebody got vacation coming up or came back from vacation. Right? What about dreams and ambitions? What about dreams of, of things that you want to do in your life? The, the, the dream woman that God has for you. The dream man. Now, if you're married, that's not you. Okay? It's your right. <laughs>
Say amen. amen. You see, God is beyond, right? But if, if I approach God based on all the scripture that I memorize and what I understand, guess what? That's it. But if I choose to remove that, how do you remove that, Brother Joey? You just start thanking God for Lord Jesus. That is the first and most important thing in a relationship with God the Father. Thanking God for Lord Jesus. Amen. Once again, here Mr. DJ starts off John 1 first, right? And all the way to the end of his book, he started with Jesus and he ended it with who? Jesus, Jesus right? You see, we, we capture this in the disciple John because this is his relationship not only as a disciple who walked with Lord Jesus, but he was constantly meditating on the love of the Father that God has for him. Can I get an amen? amen? That God has for him. My question to you, beloved church family, is what are you meditating on? Right? I mentioned to you as far as what disciple John wrote from the first to the very last. Say with me, hey, Mr. DJ. Hey, Mr. DJ. Get this portion. Oh, my What? And I asked God, I said, okay, Father, I see what you're doing. And I thank you, Father God, for this word. I know that Lord Jesus Christ is the Alpha. Say with me, Alpha. Alpha. And Omega. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God, the beginning and the end. Amen. And we know this, and then God says, yes, but this is what I want you to get into. And we're going to go, we're going to go through it when you hit this part pretty quick. Amen? We're just going to be obedient. Say we're going to be obedient. Amen. How many believe that there's victory in Christ Jesus? Amen. Amen.
and it was dated November 11, 2014. So you want to talk about throwback, right? Right? And um, there's, there's just something powerful as far as mixtapes, you know? Um, it, it, it's amazing to me because a lot of people don't realize that Lucifer, Lucifer, Satan himself, he was the most gorgeous angel. And he had one job, to worship Father God. He was in charge of music. The Word of God says that he was adorned with jewels, jewels that our, our human eyes can't even comprehend. Because granted, God placed those jewels in it. And I also said that Lucifer had timbre. I don't know what a timbre is, so I had to look it up. Little symbol. And could you imagine that wherever Lucifer was, the glory of God would refract off of all the jewels. And you can see it right now in heaven. Many of you right now can see it in heaven. If you wondered back then where Lucifer was, all you gotta do is look and go, there he is right there. Look at look at all the colors coming off. But yet what did Lucifer do? He turned the worship against God and onto him. You gotta think about an angel that just a simple movement with music in heaven. Have you ever, Pop, huh, have you ever traveled around with one of these things? Can you imagine? Can you imagine having a little bitty one of these hooked up to you? Right? See, what God is asking you right now, beloved child of God, is your mind right now making glorious music unto God based on your movement? What do you mean, Brother Joy? How are you moving for God? How are you moving for God? Huh? What is your movement like? Let's get even deeper. Let's get good and good. What's your speech like? Huh? Is your speech life giving? Is it wherever you go, you're just planting godly seeds? Hallelujah. Wherever you go, are you just are you just taking God's hand? And just grabbing a bunch of godly anointed seeds and oh. Hallelujah. Hey, how are you doing today? Oh God bless you. I haven't seen you in a while, sis, even though you're annoying me. Hey. God bless you. How are you doing today? Oh, it's so great to see you. You know you are blessed. You know what? Be encouraged. It's just a season. Things may look down, but God is on our side. Oh my goodness, look at you beautiful children. You guys are like superheroes. Do you know what? Jesus died for you. Where does God live? On the inside, amen. Are you planting seeds for God's glory? Or like we discussed last night in Saturday night worship service, are you just calling out what's happening in your life right now at this moment? Are you so focused right now on the blessing that you forgot about the blessing? Are you so focused right now on the hurt, on the pain, on the distraction, that you're forgetting that beauty comes in the morning? Oh, say when you good morning. Good morning. Oh, I'm say like when you good morning. Good morning. Give us someone check when you say good morning. The only thing good about it is Jesus Christ, the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Good morning. 
to go over real quick. In the heart of the text of John, you guys read it before we even got started in our worship service, that in John's book, he called himself the one that Jesus loved. The one that Jesus loved. Beloved, the question before we move further is, through the anointing of Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit in you, God is asking you, do you see yourself that way? Or do you see yourself as a just a spirit? Right? Do you see yourself as, oh, I'm not worthy of anything good? You see, there's, this, there's a deception from the devil that is purely demonic of trying to keep a beloved child of God in that rut, in that state, to continuously get trampled over. And God right now is blessing you with an anointing through his Holy Spirit. Say with me, no more. No more. You may be broken. You may be like me and done some horrible, horrible thing. But you need to get right with the Lord. Because Jesus Christ is worthy. Amen. And if you call upon the name of Lord Jesus Christ, guess what? You are no longer your own. You are his property. Amen. And last time I checked, God ain't got nothing to do with our Amen. Amen? He turned your ashes into, you guys know, what is it? You. Right? He turns the curse into one person. Blessing, right? I'm going to ask you, do you receive the blessings of the Lord? Do you receive the victory in Christ? Amen. Amen. So God, two of them that say, John says that, that anyone comes to steal, kill, and destroy, I come to give you life, life, and abundance, right? What's on track three? John 14, 6. John 14, 6 says, Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father. He is the way, the truth, and the life. All the way, all the way to the Father is through Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. John 14, 26. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus says, I have to leave because the advocate, Holy Spirit, is going to come. And he's going to be sent from me through my Father. And he's going to live with you, but he's going to live in me. Hallelujah. That's right. That's a, hey, that's a good track right there. John, what? Are we up in a track five, John 15, 5, right? I am the vine, you are the branch. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear. Hallelujah. Who's fruit is it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whose anointing is going to produce that fruit through your life? Hallelujah. Holy Spirit will do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Track number six. Oh, God. 1928. Praise God.
Second Reigns, chapter 20, verse 22. When you get a chance to read, read it, go bring it up. But this is when Lord Jesus Christ breathed before the glorification took place, before his ascension. He breathed on his disciples. The Holy Spirit come upon him. Jesus breathed. Now last time I checked, in Genesis, when God created man, what did he do? Because man was there, what did he do? Breathe, right? And here's Lord Jesus Christ saying, don't limit me. Just to my flesh here with you. I have always been. I am the Word of God. I am the Word. Say with me, I am the Word of God. Now listen to what we just said. We did not blaspheme at all. I am God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. But then we also said, I am, Brother Chris, the Word of God. Which means, Brother Chris, say amen. amen. Hallelujah. What happened? All of heaven right now flow. Through God the Beloved Child. Amen. Give God the praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Beloved church family, we are never going to be separated from our God, our Father who loves us. We are never going to be separated. I never discount anything that a beloved child is going through. You may go be going through a trying time right now in your life. But all God is asking for is to remain focused on the Holy One. And to start giving him thanks. Rejoice! Hallelujah! Right? Rejoice! The reason why God is giving you the secret weapon that God knows what's happening because He's in your tomorrow. But what you're experiencing right now is the plot of the enemy. See, right now the enemy's like, yeah, keep coming this way. Come on, keep coming this way. And all God is saying is, stop! Say that with me, stop! For last night, the Holy Spirit said that He wanted this to close and praise God. Many of you know this, so we'll read it real quick. And then we're going to go into the mixtape. Praise God. God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whoever believes in Him, I'll never forget it for all of eternity. I wasn't even present here yet. The elders were just talking to me, met with Pastor John, and talking about becoming a pastor here in Open Arms Community Church. Above all, a member, hallelujah, rooted here in God's holy church. And I'll never forget it for all of eternity. Our elder Charlie says, we are a whoever church. We are a whoever church, which means whoever is welcome. That means whoever comes and we're going to love them. That means whoever, right? Say with me, whoever. The last time I checked, whoever means. Do it again. 
Do, do we get count that? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> All right, one, two, three. For God so loved me that he gave me his one and only son, that I believe in him. I shall not perish, but I have eternal life. For God did not, say it with me, for God did not send his son to condemn me. But, that's a, that's a big but. That's a big but there. Say it with me, there is victory. Say it again, there is victory. 